Hello everyone, here we are again. I need to put new tires on my bike. Take a look at this. Yeah, they've had about three, 4,000 K. They need to be replaced. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna compare these old ones, which are pan erasers, to my new ones, which are GP5000s, as I said in the description. First, let me show you how to take them off and put the new ones on, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Release the brakes. Most of you should have a quick release. Find the valve. Release the air. Take the air out. Then, take the back wheel off. Hope you're having a good day. My day wasn't too bad. Anyways, once the wheels are off, I got this I don't have a stand, so I just kind of throw it over my shoulder, but if you have a stand, it works obviously a lot better. Okay, we got both the wheels off here in a sec. Now what you're going to need for this job at this point, after you set the bike down, don't set it on the rear derailleur. I'm just going to set it down gently on its side here. That's good enough. My outdoor workshop. You need these tire levers. Get plastic ones. Do not use a screwdriver. Nothing metal. It's going to hurt the rim. Simply insert one. Uh, depends how tight your tires are. Mine aren't too bad. They're snug. Simply put one in and flip the bead out over the rim. Now, as you can see here, mine are not too bad. I can flip it in and this is a cool little trick I've learned. Just simply slide it down. Slide it around. Then you can work off the other side of the bead with your hands and presto, tire and tube come off at once. Now, if your tires are a little tighter, you may have to use two levers or maybe even three, as you can see here as an example, uh, to pry it off to break the first bead. They call that a bead where it seats on the tire. Okay, you get your tires off. Now. Here's where we're going to put on my new tubes. Now pay attention to the stem length. They come in different stem lengths. These are good for my tires. Ask your bike shop if you're not sure. Here's my GP5000s. I'm going to take these out and put them on. Why did I choose this tire? Well, bicycle rolling resistance. Here's a comparison. You can go to this place on the internet if you wish. Well, they're substantially lighter. 26 grams per tire. That's 50 in total. That's quite a bit rotation weight and of course uh, they also have less watts of rolling resistance quite a bit so I was excited to use these tires they've got lots of, of good reviews now after you take them out kind of roll around and take make sure all the folds are out the best you can what you're gonna do first is put one bead of the tire on onto the rim just work yourself around with your hands now when you get to the end here you're probably gonna need a little help from one of your plastic tire levers. Don't use a screwdriver. The metal will damage the rim. Simply put it underneath and flip it over. Once you've got one bead all around the tire, put the valve in first and a little trick I've learned is you can push it up a little bit to make sure it's not pinching the rim. And then here just take your time, might take a little bit of time, uh, working the second bead onto the rim with the tube. Use your fingers as much as you can. That way you won't pinch the tube between the rim and the tire. Again, the last little part's always the hardest. This is where you're going to have to use your levers. Use your hands as much as possible. Work it up to the end, always making sure that the tube isn't getting pinched and flip it on. One last thing. Do this. Go all the way around the tire, rolling it back and forth pushing that valve up a little bit to make sure it's not pinching the rim. Work yourself all around the tire. Do this. Then inflate the tire. 50, 60, don't, don't go full at this point. You just want to see if it's seated properly, okay? So after you get about 50, 60 pounds in, give it a rotate. Make sure that there's no bumps, it's seated properly. If, if there is, uh, deflate and uh, try it again and as you can see here mine worked perfectly excellent so 
The only thing to do is uh, put it back on the bike. When you're putting the rear wheel on, you uh, can simply pull back the derailleur with your hand as you see me doing here. I don't have a bike stand, but hey, this works. Take your time. That's a pretty freaky tune I just played. And the front wheel. Tighten up the brakes. Uh, you know, you had loosened them prior and pump to full inflation. I'm gonna put about 100 pounds in. Here we go for a ride. What did I find? Well, the GP5000s fit narrower. I bought 25C, they're narrower. The old ones were 25C, they felt a lot fatter. My recommendation, get a bigger size. Uh, the 25s are still quite narrow for the GP5000s. They rode fantastic. They actually felt a little quicker. I recommend them. Like and subscribe, my name's Scott. It's a worthy upgrade from a mid-range tire. Take it easy, have a nice day, and if you're riding your bike, you know, wear a helmet. Talk to you later.